up to our court system with cases piling up. The Harris County court system still hasn't caught up and now the coronavirus pandemic is slowing them down even more. This time it's worse with jury trials on pause. Cases are mounting and the jail population is increasing. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold is live in our newsroom tonight with a closer look. Robert. The Texas Supreme Court has ordered no jury trials or jury selections are to take place before August 1st unless the state approves it. When the pandemic hit, Harris County criminal courts were still struggling to recover from Hurricane Harvey. This latest crisis further impacted how quickly cases are moving through the courts. Both prosecutors and defense attorneys agree the system can't handle much more of a backup and all sides have to work together to find a way to get things moving. We're at a snail's pace. That's Harris County prosecutor Joanne Music. I have no idea how we're going to get back to normal with this kind of very slow moving docket. And that's defense attorney Mark Thiessen, who is president of the Harris County Criminal Lawyers Association. During April of last year, the DA's office reported 85% of felony cases were cleared. This April, that number dropped to below 30%. Same story with misdemeanors. Sadly, crime is, appears to be up. We're getting more and more calls, more and more arrests, more and more charges filed right now. While the vast majority of cases never make it to trial, the normal day-to-day -day operations of the court have been impacted by the need for social distancing. Thiessen says only 10 people are allowed in a courtroom at a time, and that includes court staff. We're used to seeing hundreds of people at least 100 people in every single court with 100 people in the hallways. Moving forward, big questions have yet to be answered, like how to socially distance during a trial. Thiessen and Music say the idea of trial participants wearing masks won't work. You want to be able to see and read faces, and you're asking your jury to do the same with of witnesses. If everybody's standing six feet apart with masks, how are you supposed to communicate, and how are we supposed to communicate with our client? Another dilemma is the cattle call of jury duty. We typically call, you know, 1,000, 2,000 people a day down to jury duty. There's where you're going to need GRB. There's where you're going to need a large facility. And all of this is leading to a backup in the Harris County Jail. Last month, the jail population dipped to below 7,500. It's now back up to 8,100. There are innocent people stuck in jail right now that want to get to trial. We just got to we got to figure out how it's fair. The trial court judges sent out a survey asking both prosecutors and defense attorneys what measures they would like to see to feel safe but get the system moving again. As of now, though, no final, final decisions have been made. Live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.